Hey guys, Joshua Bantech, and I've got one of Habit's keyboards. It's a gaming keyboard. It's very customizable. You've got backlit color. You've got 13 different programmable keys along with the ergonomic design. And it's got some dual game mode functionality. So it's got a lot of different options. I've been using this keyboard for about one to two weeks, and I just wanted to kind of give a nice, good test run for you before I give you my full review about it. There's about three things that I like about this keyboard that really stand out to me. One, it's a quiet typing experience. I really like quiet typing. I don't like the loud stuff. I'm used to my MacBook's keyboard that I used for a long time. I upgraded to a PC and now I have a nice computer and now I have a nice keyboard. I think that this is actually a pretty nice keyboard. So the nice, quiet, comfortable kind of typing experience is what I like. I don't like a lot of noise. The other cool thing about this is that you can customize the colors on the keyboard to so many different variations. You get about 16 million colors to choose from and you can set up the different regions and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And the other thing that's really nice about this is that it's got a lot of nice programmable keys and functions that you can get going. So let's go ahead and get you to the computer side because it actually comes with a disc that you can put in here to do all your customizing with. And I'll show you how to do that. So just we're going to hop on over to the computer and show you that part for this part of the review. Once you got your disc into the slot, you just, you know, install it just like any other CD-ROM. And we're going to go ahead and get into the program itself. One of the things that I discovered was that you have to actually run this as an administrator just to get it working. Uh, you can't just double click to get it going. Once you got it running, you got your macro manager here. You got game mode one, game mode two. Here's where you choose all your colors. You got different profiles. You got about four that you can set up here. Along with your main controls, you got macro settings and you can change your different keyboard shortcuts. You got G1, G2, G3, and four. Again, you got your profile so you can set up a bunch of different profiles and you got more customization up here. I'm going to go back to the main control and show you how to change your colors. You click the choose color and you get a dialog box to show up here. You got your rainbow of colors. You got five different regions to start with. You get the A, B, C, and D and also your logo. You got the light intensity so you can actually kind of tone it down if you want to. That's with the main region and you also get the logo to, you know, 100% off 30-70%. You also have a breathing option which is pretty cool so if you like to see that your colors on the keyboard will breathe or not you can set it to a different amount of seconds. So just for example purposes we're going to change to some different colors here and you can slide around click anywhere and it's going to change it to that color. So I'm going to do some Bane set coloring. I kind of like the pinks. Hit OK. Region B, go to some of the bluer colors here. I'm going to try to go a little bit brighter. The brighter the better in my opinion on the colors for the keyboard. I'm just going to alternate these colors. And you can see how easy this is to do. Alright, so I'm going to turn the breathing on just so that you can see it. I'm going to do it every four seconds so you can see it quicker. You hit OK. Hit Apply and you can see the colors start to kind of change on the keyboard itself. You can see the pink eagle, you got your different regions all the way across. And it's still kind of thinking so we're going to give it a second to do its thing. Alright, so you can start to see some of the breathing happen now. Kind of see it go in and out, in and out. Uh, it doesn't look like it recognized some of the colors, like this is a yellow instead of the blue. So it, you still have to kind of play around with stuff. Um, you got all kinds of different regions here to mess around with. So let's try to change this over to a red. Just try to change up all the colors. Just go kind of random. It's pretty crazy the amount of colors that you can choose from. Alright, so let's see how that does. Click apply. You see the kind of thing change up a little bit. And it should start seeing the colors change again. So you got green now. Still got some pinks and yellow. Alright, so 
looks like it changed some of the stuff. Still got the pulsating, the breathing kind of action. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Now let's say you just want to start over. You can just hit reset to default and it'll just put it back to stock. Sometimes it takes a little while to do, so just bear with it, let it do its thing, and you'll be back to stock in no time. And it's done. So that's pretty much the general overview of what you can do with this keyboard, some of the customizing that you can get going. I like how you can basically assign different keys to different kind of commands. You can change different profiles. You got different game modes. So let's say you got a shooter mode and then you got a driving mode or, you know, whatever your kind of gaming style is, you can do that. So I've actually really enjoyed using this keyboard. It's been nice and quiet. I really like the quiet typing. I like having a backlit keys because it really makes it nice if I'm in a dim environment and I'm working on stuff on the computer, I can still see what I'm typing. It's just nice to have that backlit functionality. I like having the different colors that you can choose from. The only problem that I've had with this keyboard is that the space bar, it kind of has a squeaky, springy noise at times. It's not necessarily a deal breaker, but I definitely don't want that noise there. So that does kind of knock down the value a little bit to me. So yeah, if you want to check this out, I'll leave a link down below in the description. It works great. I think it's a nice keyboard. I like having it. It's a comfortable keyboard to type on, so I think it's definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this.